Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Very interesting uh, proposal uh, or request coming from uh, the Kiev uh, regime or whoever is in, is in charge of uh, the Ukrainian nation. And that is, they asked Romanians to avoid, which is not, uh, videotape uh, Russian attacks, drone attacks or missile attacks on the Ukrainian ports you know, and uh, they hope that the Romanians will not post those uh, videos on the social media. Now, those ports that the Ukrainians are talking about are ports located on the Danube River, which are, you know, they're bordering Romania. So they say, well, when the Russians attack, don't videotape from across the Danube River. Okay, do not videotape those things and post them on the social media because according to the Ukrainians, which I don't believe, uh, the Russians will be able to, again, like they did in in, uh, in Kiev, able to pinpoint where our defense systems are located. I think this is BS because I think the Russians are um, live or, uh, you know, in real time are monitoring uh, wherever they hit. So whenever they see the lights coming on from the defense systems, they will just adjust the coordinates and hit right there. So they don't need the Romanians to do that and then send it uh, and uh, post it on social media and so on, even if they do it live. And if they don't do it live, uh, what, they're going to do it in a week or so? So I think this is BS. What I think it is, is no, uh, we are the only ones, we are the gatekeepers of the truth whenever the Russians attack and we're going to tell you what we did and what happened. And the rest of the media will pick what we uh, report not you and you and you so you can like I did showed you in a, a, a video with the Russians attack on Kiev they said well they destroyed a Patriot uh, battery and the Ukraine said no no system was destroyed there were videos with some explosions over there uh, on the Patriot system and then the Ukrainians said yeah after that yeah there were some uh, the little scratch a little bit what did they do they looked after these people that posted those videos and uh, they arrested them, about five, I think, in Kiev, and they uh, um, charged them and convicted them. And they're on house arrest right now. I uh, made another video on a woman who did that. Why? Because she, she video, videotaped that and put it on social media. And they say, well, because of that. No, because she called you a liar when she posted that versus what you reported. So that's why I don't know if those Patriot systems, if they're still in Kiev or not. Anyway, you can't do it. The same thing happened in, if you remember, in, um, uh, how do you call it, Odessa. About a month, a month and a half ago, when the Russians attacked Odessa, there were some people who uh, looked over and uh, videotaped. They got checked by the police and then the security forces. Um, they call it uh, security services. <laughs> All right. The secret police came and spoke with them and they then and then next time you go to prison. Great job. The, the bacon, beacon, bacon, yeah, bacon. The beacon of uh, democracy and freedom, Ukraine. I understand they fight the Russians, but I don't think that's the main reason. I think the main reason is, is they don't want an alternate version of what their reality wants to be, you know, and uh, give us uh, their reality. Uh, opposing reality. That's why I think they, they try. So now, according to this article from the New Voice of Ukraine, Kiev asks Romanians to avoid filming Ukrainian air defense near the border. The Ukrainian embassy in Romania has appealed to the civilians living near the Ukrainian borders not to record the operation of Ukraine's air defenses during Russia's R Russian drone or missile strikes. So in a uh, Face, uh, in the Facebook post on August 17, the embassy said this kind of footage once posted on social media can aid Moscow in countering the anti-air defense Ukraine is setting up around its Danube port infrastructure. Now, do you think the Russians don't have already assets in Romania doing exactly what the Romanians do? do you think, don't you think that the Russians have drones over there, little drones, and they do it live from Ukraine? from where the ports are. Don't you think they have that? I mean, it would be idi idiotic to think that the Russians have nobody in across the, if you want, across the border from Ukraine with a drone in the air videotaping. If they really want, well, we don't know where those are located. Do they need the Romanians? I mean, it's idiotic, but anyway, 
it works with some people. So it says here, the message added that Russia attacked the infrastructure of the Danube ports as recently as August 16. As a result of the enemy attack, seven people were injured and grain storage facilities were damaged. They knew exactly where they were, not because of the videotapes, but because of intelligence they had before. Do you think these guys are just uh, pushing buttons over there and they just destroy towns? This is what these guys are trying to uh, le lead us to believe and the Ukrainians as, as well. That's a whole process. When you pick the, uh, you determine what kind of target, which one exactly, you get it, you put the coordinates, you send it, what kind. It's a lot of uh, thought put into that. It's not like, oh, let me see what the Romanians are posting. Man, I think it's uh, it's um, somewhere northeast of uh, that little location. What's that? A Volkswagen uh, Jetta, I think. Uh, 1982. Yeah, yeah. It's by that one. That, you think that's the way it works? I don't think so. So let me show you how concerned are, are the Ukrainians. I'm going to show you some maps, okay? I'm going to start with uh, the easiest map to show you what these guys are concerned with. So here is the uh, map of Romania. This is uh, Ukraine right here. This is uh, the Black Sea. So this is where it all occurs, right here. This is the Danube River that the Romanians and the Ukrainians are sharing. The problem is, you see this part here? This was part of this part of Moldova, which is, was Basarabia, actually. And it was this was part of Romania. But now this is, was given by Stalin to the Ukrainians. Like uh, Khrushchev uh, gave this part to Ukraine from the Russians. So they gave it from Romanians, they gave it to Ukrainians. So this is Romanian territory. But somehow, after 1991, they forgot about it. <laughs> the order was not given by the Americans and the Russians to give it back to Romania. That's what it was. So here it is, the Danube River right here okay so it crosses romania it comes like this is bulgaria romania let me make like this bulgaria romania it comes to, 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 from here enters fully into romania cuts romania in two right here and then here again goes like this so here is, is the border now the ukrainians have ismail right here and ren these were already attacked by the russians now, I don't know if kilia probably they also have something in kilia but i know that ismail and ren are the supply areas and you can also see the main uh, you know roads and probably the railway uh, coming here so here is romanian town of galat a big city here is the danube river and this is rain how do you think these guys are going to be able to pinpoint where the hell things occur here or ismail tulcha big town this is the danube here and this is just the delta this is bullshit do you think that people are going to be around here Okay, maybe they are, but they're going to be on the, um, how do you call it, ground level. Unless you have a drone and you pinpoint what. So, filming from here to there, my friends, this is this is Danube River. The distance between, I mean, the, to cross it here, it, its width is about at least 100 meters. At least 100 meters, maybe more than that. Here is before it splits in three arms. Okay, Kilia, uh, Svento Gheorghe, and uh, Sulina. There's three arms. I'm going to show you another map. Right, where is it? There's another map right here. So I'm talking about this area right here. In this area. So there's three arms. One, two, three. So it's the uh, Kilia arm, then is the Sulina arm, and then the Svento Gheorghe. This is the most, uh, you know, the one that is used right here on the top, that is between the two countries. So these Galats, we're going to see what's going on over there. I'm going to show another the map. Right here, this is going to be a little bit uh, uh, touchy. Okay, all right, it works. So again, this is the town, Galat, and this is where the attacks occur. Right here, the Ren. Uh, and I don't know, do you see any... I want to see now... It should be a distance somewhere. I don't see any distance here. Telling me uh, how much is from where to where. No, I don't see it anywhere. Maybe I'm missing it. Just to tell you how wide this thing is between this. So you're telling me that uh, you can go, maybe if you go like this, you can see how much is a... Okay, here is how much, how big is a house. Okay, and this is how wide the Danube River is. I would say this is more than 100 meters here and is very, very deep, at least 100 meters between that port, 
portion and this portion. And you're telling me that these guys are going to be able to film what's going on on the other side. Not impossible, my friends. So again, if you go here with Galatz and Ren, again, look how wide this is. People are going to be here uh, doing what? This is a frontier here. What are you talking about? But anyway, uh, these guys try to make us, uh, you know, dumbasses, but we're not. Uh, I think it's just a, a way of telling them, don't videotape. Uh, people have to listen only to our narrative, which is understandable. Totally. I'm just pointing out that this guy is there to tell the Romanians, hey, you know what? You uh, Can you please uh, support us? Yeah, we will. Like, the Russians are not there. Anyway. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.